Today I'm really excited because we're going to be playing Disney Dreamlight Valley and let me tell you, I've put in over 60 hours over the last few days and I'm super stoked to be able to play this on the channel with you guys. I haven't done any decorating or furnishing or anything in my save yet. So we're basically gonna be designing the whole town and furnishing and designing my house. And the latest update actually adds the ability to fully customize objects, colors, and patterns. Thanks so much to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in the description down below to get the Founders Pack edition of your choice to play today. And make sure to check out the new update and share your creations on socials with hashtag Dreamlight Creations because Gameloft will be resharing their favorites. Before we start getting into designing and furnishing everything, I figure I should probably tell you, you know, what we're even doing here. The story in this game is all the characters have forgotten what happened and you have to essentially rescue them. And as you play through the game, they move back in and you get to choose where their house goes and you help them out with tasks and quests. And in the meantime, you can do a bunch of stuff like fishing and farming. This is one of my little farms over here. It's a super chill game. It's so peaceful to just come hang out here. You get to hang out with Disney characters. You got Merlin here. There's Wally over there. Hey buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we, we basically do farming, fishing, collecting, and rescuing. But anyway, let's do what we're here to do. I, so I, like I said, I've put about 60 hours into my save game and I haven't really changed the default layout. So this is basically how the game starts off. I have changed a few things. Like I've added a few houses of characters that have moved in, but you can see the ground is kind of all messed up. That's how it sort of starts off. So you kind of want to fix it up and design it. As for the thumbnail, yeah, you can sort of move your, this is my house. I can move it wherever I want. Uh, but I'm thinking what we're going to do first, I kind of, I think I need to clear out some space. It's pretty cool because all the houses are themed to the characters. So this one uh, is Mirabelle's from Encanto's house, but I want to make it look nice. I want to clean up the place a little bit. All right, first things first, I'm going to clear out this top section of decorative pieces, and then we're going to see what we got left. So I'm just going to, Go through, pick up all these decorative things and just remove them like this. So some things like these as well, these are harvestable. So these are apple trees. We can't remove these because they, they will always spawn new apples for us. That's fine. We'll just put them up to the side for now. It's pretty cool though, because you can sort of fly around the entire map. So you got all the different areas. You've got like the forest down here, frosted heights up the top. You can see the big castle there in the background. You've got the plaza area, which we're going to work on. Sunlit plateau. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, honestly. I think it's actually really cool seeing it from this perspective like flying around because you can really like take control of everything which I'm 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 so excited for this oh yeah and all these little flowers as well these are harvestables too uh thankfully I can sort of move them around but I have to get my character to pick them up enough enough babbling I'm gonna remove all this stuff and then I'll, I'll, I'll catch back up with you okay so I've removed kind of all the big pieces now we have all this uh pathway which I also want to remove so we can just remove it like this which is pretty cool and it adds back into our inventory so we can actually just relay the path which is good so we don't lose any of that. All right, removed all the pathway from this upper area. It's actually the same system with the fence, which is pretty cool. So you click and drag along it to extend and retract it. So I'm gonna do the same with these. And then I guess I'm gonna go around and collect all these things. So we have a completely clear space and I'm gonna move those farms as well because I wanna probably put them somewhere else. They don't need to be up here. They'll probably be better down here somewhere, to be honest, but we'll find that out all out in due time. Okie dokie, that looks good. So yeah, I'm gonna go around now and uh, just collect all this stuff. Sorry, Merlin, um, the, town, the town will be back to normal soon, I promise. <laughs> so I finished harvesting all my vegetables and wheat and that, and I'm just going through and removing all these holes. Uh, I did accidentally plant one more thing, so I'm gonna have to wait for that to grow, but uh, other than that, oh no, I just dug a new hole. Other than that, we're on the road to success. Minnie's hanging out over there. Hi, oh my, what did you do to our beautiful valley? It'll be good, Minnie, I swear. I'm working on it. It's gonna take a while. Right, we've cleaned everything except all my storage stuff. So this is gonna be a problem. I'll show you what my house looks like. So this is the second level house. I haven't fully upgraded it yet, which we can do in a second. Inside at the moment, I just have this single room. Um, and I'm thinking we should probably get someone to put all my storage so it's not just outside in the grass area. So let's go to expand our house. We're gonna add, well, we can add a bunch of rooms. We can make our main room bigger. Let me add a room to the left. How big do we wanna go? Well, might as well go 10 by 10, why not? I'm gonna go 10 by 10, that's gonna be a bedroom. I do still want like a storage room somewhere. So maybe this side will be storage room. And then we do have a third room we can add at the back. I think, you know what, before I do any more, let me go, uh, oh, look at these doors. Yeah. Wait, where's my, where's my other door? 
<laughs> it is behind the fireplace. Hey, it's a secret room. What can I say? All right, we'll, we'll change that soon. That's funny. All right, what I really want to do though, as well as expand the size of my house, well, the exterior of the house anyway, and it also increases our storage in the house too. So we talked to good old Scrooge McDuck. He's the basically only contractor in town. 75,000 coins. Good thing I saved up enough. Yes, please. Thanks, buddy. Ooh, okay. So this is going to give us the ability to change the exterior and also more storage inside. Oh yeah, look at this place. I'm also going to, you know what? Let's add another room. I don't know what this is going to be. Maybe, I guess it doesn't really matter what I call it. We'll just say spare room because I, I don't know what it's going to be right now. <laughs> but of course we're gonna go full size, why not? And then we can of course go to another floor and you know, add more. Let, let's go with this, that's a lot of space. You know, we've got a lot of space to work with. So yeah, the other thing I was talking about is with our house, I can click on this and actually replace it with different styles. And you can unlock more styles. Um, I just have pretty much the basic ones and then this one, which was available recently. Why don't we use this one, the purple cottage? There you go, look at this, new house. I don't think I want to live there though. I, I think I want to move my house somewhere else. Okay, before I decide where I want to move my house, I'm going to move all this storage inside the house. So then this is also easier to just move around and it'll just be in the house rather than outside. All right, good news guys. We've got all my storage now inside my house, which is handy. The room is a little bit blank. So I'm wondering, should we decorate this a little bit? Maybe let's decorate it a little bit. Rustic tavern, hello. I actually kind of like that for a storage room. It kind of seems like more like a cellar. <laughs> yeah, actually, I actually quite like that. Diamond patterned mahogany, ooh, yes. Okay, that's kind of all, I, I, I do want to decorate this more soon, but. I think for now, I'm just gonna do this. Okie dokie. So now that I've actually cleared out the space, got rid of those farms, got rid of all my storage there. I think what I need to do, I'm just gonna move these buildings down just so we can have more of a clear canvas up the top. Maybe let's lay some pathways because we got quite clearly three exits from that area. So let's get some path. Oh, we could set up like a little garden with these actually. Maybe if we combine that with my actual farms, that could be really nice. First up, let's get a pathway between these two sections. I think we definitely need that. So I'm gonna drag that out. Uh, I think we'll go a little bit wider than that. Let's go, I reckon four wide is probably good. I don't think I'm using too much. All right, the next thing I wanna do is probably connect up. We've got a ramp here. There's a ramp on this side, one over here and one over here. So there's basically exits on six different points of this area up the top as well, obviously. So let's just like plan out the paths to that. So yeah, I think that's my pathway layout. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That gives us a good sort of canvas. Now, Scrooge McDuck's store. Honestly, probably the back corner makes kind of sense. There is also a mining spot back there. So I'm gonna leave that accessible so I can actually get to it. If I do that, I can probably enchanting fountain. Ooh, yeah, this is good. So we can probably get something. I want some nice design out the front of the store or something. Maybe this one can go in the path. Actually, this might be better. Yeah, and I can actually have the path under it too. You know what? That looks really nice. I think I want it to face the other way though. I think I want to face this way. Yeah. All right, let me just make that pathway a little wider because now we've got a fountain in the middle. Cool. All right. So back over to Scrooge's, I might move this over a little bit so I have a bit more space on the side here to get through. I think that works. Maybe we could have Remy's over here then. So we can have the taller buildings near the back of this sort of plaza area. So that's Remy's house and that's the front door there. And this is Remy's restaurant. We can use this and so Remy's restaurant can have like fresh produce just next to it. Like it's got these little trees and bushes and this can be like part of that. Make sure I leave enough room so I can walk around here. We could do like a nice little fence around it in a minute. And then we can do like little tables and stuff out the front here of the restaurant. Yeah. And then for Remy's house, which I put the door on the wrong side, sorry. Uh, we can do some little sort of garden or something here. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. So I've got Minnie's house there, Mickey's house there, Goofy's house here. I feel like those are kind of a set, you know, they kind of seem like they go together, you know? Maybe we could get them, hang on, before I do those, I feel like I need like a plaza area. Well, this is a whole plaza, this is the plaza area, but I feel like I need like a little shop area. I kind of like this, this is like a little shopping cart. It's just decorative, but I think this is really cute. So maybe we can get like this. I can have, this is my crafting table and some nice little bins, look at this. <laughs> we also have like fairground rides, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna put it there for now. We also have like Dumbo. Maybe this can be the fairground zone. We could have Kristoff's cart here. So this is where we can actually buy some items. So what I'm thinking is a few items here for this little shopping zone, which is mostly just Kristoff's cart. I like these trellis. These are really nice to just create a uh, sort of fence setup. So I think I'll use these. I'm gonna have to craft more of them though, but that's okay. Cause this will create a nice separation just here. Oh, that actually fits perfectly in that zone. Okay, I'm quite liking that. So if Mickey's has to go somewhere along here and then Minnie's house is here. Minnie's house is a little bigger. We could have Minnie's house 
here. And then this could be like mini little garden space. And then maybe, let's get rid of these. <laughs> Let me get rid of the, at least that one. And maybe Mickey lives over this side. I like the fairground, but I want to create like a cute little village. Maybe Goofy could also live over this side. Oh, Goofy's house is a little taller. Maybe I could have his off to the side a bit more. Like what if we had Goofy there? I'm just thinking about the, the views, you know? I quite like this because Minnie's house is sort of in a bit and then you can see Remy's behind that. You got Mickey's there and then you can see Scrooge's store. And then Goofy's house just there. And then the castle down the middle, we've got the new fountain there. I think this is coming together nicely. I think I want to use these guys as like maybe a little separator here between our little shopping section. And then I've got this crafting table as well, which I'm just going to put here for the time being just so I can do some crafting real quick. So we can craft like additional like little decorative stalls and stuff and like hay bales. So I'm going to make another stall and maybe a wooden table could actually be kind of nice. And then I definitely think we need, oh, a cart is a good idea too. It's exp that was expensive, but but worth it. <laughs> Gonna get the other little decorative items around here just to, you know, finish up the look. I, I put like a little plushie and some coconuts on this little stall. And then I'm gonna get this table here. Just has a couple plants and stuff on it, which I think is quite nice. Look at that, it's beautiful. Now we haven't even done any of the landscaping like trees or shrubs or anything that, like that, which we can do as well. So I can just add like little ferns and stuff in. Back over at Remy's, I think I wanna have this be like a little, like I said, like almost like a little garden for the restaurant. And then I could actually do some farming here in the front as well, I think. So I've just turned this into like a little farm space. It's mostly gonna be decorative because there's not enough crops there really to be useful. I mean, these guys here I will be harvesting, but these ones will just be decorative. And I think that's pretty cute. And we did have that little table, small round dining table, which was actually originally outside, which I quite like. I wonder if I can get another one of those. Let me go check. Cause you can, if you have items already, you can sometimes buy them from Scrooge. Mr. McDuck. There you are. Oh, Mr. McDuck, I have an order to place. All right, let's see if he's got the table. He does, okay. I think I'll get, should we do three? I kind of like the idea of three tables because odd numbers are always nicer than even numbers. I'm gonna get two of those and I need some chairs to go with it. I guess for outdoors, this one might be the best option. Nine grand, Scrooge, you are making a good profit. Thanks, buddy. All right, this will be worth it. And now we get another couple of these, so. All right, stools, here we go, yes. Other tables like that. Yeah, that's cute. Do I have like, um, well, like an umbrella or something? I don't think I have that. What about just like a little circular planter? You know, it doesn't quite line up there. Maybe not there. We could do these rectangular ones again. These are always quite nice. Now there is actually a mining spot back here. I have just remembered, <laughs> which I don't think I can currently access. And I've put a lot of effort into this. So I think I'm gonna have to rotate this building, which actually that's not bad. That actually, that works. Yeah, and I could do, I could even do like a little pathway to it. That still looks really nice, I think. All right, so I've turned this into like a little farm patch. I've got a little pathway down the back, a couple of trees, a nice bench for Remy back there. I think that's really nice. Now, I think the next thing I wanna do is I think this is where I'm gonna have the houses, at least Mickey, Minnie, and I think Goofy, I'm gonna move over here. I don't, well, Goofy's house is, is a little tall just because of his hat. So maybe if Goofy can go more on the side. And then Mickey, where's Mickey gonna live? Maybe Mickey could still be over here. No, I think Mickey needs to go over this side now. Same sort of setup maybe on the side like that. Move that tree, yeah. So that leaves a lot of space here, which I'm actually pretty pleased with because I think we can probably do some nice things there. I just do want, I do want to set up a few little fences though, I think. We can have a few little front yard kind of set up for each of our beautiful residents. All right, Minnie. I'm going to set up a little thing for Minnie here. Ooh, maybe this nice little flower. Figment topiary. That's cute. I feel like Minnie would like this. Oh, I need to move that. <laughs> that thing is in my way. Yeah, that's a cute, just little garden kind of setup. I think that's nice. Nice little display. You can always add more stuff in there later. One thing I do want to get around the place, which I haven't done yet, is lighting. So we've got a bunch of these lights that I took out. I think it just adds a nice vibe to the town. So we should probably get these placed around. So I'm going to sort of place them maybe on the corners and such. Just because, I mean, that, that seems to make sense to me. Down this way as well, if I rotate there. Maybe one on that corner. You know what? We're going to do the Ferris wheel. I feel like we, we need this in our town. I'm going to move Mickey's house just over a little bit. I think this is probably the best spot for it, at least in this area. I mean, Mickey could even have his house back here. Does that work? If I, if I put Mickey there, that does actually fit on the path section. I think this would be a nice little amusement park area. We can have a sign for Scrooge's store because we've got a few of those in our inventory. And maybe we'll do like, I have to do a pathway here, but I actually think I might have run out of stone. I've got five left. 
Well, over by Scrooge's, I'm going to have a planter here and one there, and we'll eventually obviously complete that pathway. <laughs> Maybe I'll live, what if I live like right here? Is that a bad spot? I feel like my house is pretty tall too, is the problem. Like if I live right here, I mean, that's actually not too bad. It's not really blocking the view. I do block Mickey's house though. Sorry, buddy. But that's actually not a bad spot. You know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave there for now. Yeah, I can have a nice little fence. Oh, I ran out of fence. <laughs> okay, just there's fine. And then if I get some more like little flowers and stuff on the front, that'll be awesome. In the meantime, let's get some of these guys around town because I think these are great as well. Just as nice little decoration. I think that concludes our outdoor decoration. Like so far, that is great. I'm super happy with that. I love our little shopping zone, which has a crafting table and a cart. We've got a little farm area there, Remy's restaurant. We've got Goofy, Minnie, Mickey living up here and also myself just there. And we got a sweet Ferris wheel and the teacups. Oh, it looks great from down on the ground too. Yes, this is sweet. I'm loving this. This is so much better. Okay, I need to collect a bunch more stone so I can finish this pathway. <laughs> All right, I'm happy with this. Let's head inside and actually start decorating and furnishing my house. My house is empty. We need we need to decorate this puppy up. All right, first things first, I think I need to do the same thing I did outside. It's basically just clear out this room, especially where my doors are hidden behind other items. Although behind the wardrobe is kind of fun. No, 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 I'll get, I'll get rid of it. Let, let's just clear out the room so we have a nice canvas to start with. All right, so we got a blank canvas in our first room. So I guess this is like our main room. So I think this will be like the kitchen area. So the new thing we can do is to customize. I currently have a few items. So why don't we do, we could do a dining table and some chairs because we already have those. So this kind of just allows us to add, we got, we got up to 50 layers on this thing. Um, first of all, let's just change our base color. <laughs> yeah. So we can also do, make it more glossy. So it kind of looks a little bit more like plastic or like a resin maybe, or we can make it sort of, you know, matte. We can also make it more metallic as well and then turn that up. Ooh, I mean, I don't think that makes sense for our table, but that's cool. Maybe like a little, let's turn off metal. We'll go a little glossy so it's kind of like plasticky. Yeah, all right. Now I want to add some little motifs to this puppy. Oh, watermelons. So this is cool. All right, check this out. All right, so yeah, cool. We start like that, but you can move it anywhere on this surface, rotate it, scale it. Then one of my favorite things is hitting this button and then you can have it mirror automatically. So wherever you put it on the item, it sort of mirrors the other side or this one, we can just make it pattern automatically. <laughs> yeah, actually I was kind of doing this color and all that to be silly, but I think we've hit a vibe right here. All right, legs. Should we go like green legs for like the watermelon? I feel like that color is kind of the closest. Oh, we could do metal legs. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If I do like full metal, I think we have to go a bit brighter so it's like shiny. <laughs> okay, maybe not. No, no, no. That's too much even for me. <laughs> All right, so I've made my table and now I can put it in my house. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, this is pretty funny though. I like it. All right, I also have a couple of chairs that I can customize. So we're going to get this and make it match. Well, oh, I don't want to match too much. Maybe a little bit. It would be rude not to have the watermelon pattern on here too, wouldn't it? <laughs> should, should we do it again? Okay, pattern. Oh, that, you know, it actually kind of looks cute on the chair. On the table, I was being silly, but I think it actually is pretty good on the chair. All right, so now I've got that design saved. So you can see I actually have two chairs so I can just place them out like I would normally play stuff. Uh, I think I'm gonna craft more chairs because I do not have enough. Okay, I do think I maybe need to change the floor in here because this is like my kitchen dining area, lip slash living room. So I think I need to figure out what's going on in here. Or maybe just like a standard wood flooring like that. And then we could do like the rug underneath it. because I do have nice big rug here. Okay, all right, let's figure this out. So this door goes to my bedroom, which we got to do. This one is to the spare room, which I don't know uh, that I'll furnish today. And then this is my storage room. So I kind of want that to be accessible. And I'll probably move this into the storage room. Probably makes more sense. So I might get rid of that right now. I had this stove before, which I believe is pretty nice. And it goes nice through that blue wall. So I actually quite like this. So I'm going to get that out again. Um, and I've got my coffee machine. I've got a micro, I've got a bunch of appliances and I do believe I have some counters. So I got, uh, yeah, I was going for like a, a basic white sort of kitchen set. So that's good. We got those. Even got like a little kitchen island. Check this out. I, I came prepared for this kitchen. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then sink, I guess, uh, you know, what? let's do it over here. And I have another two counters still, which is good. Now I know what you're thinking. Where's the fridge? No fear. We can customize the fridge, which we'll do in a second. <laughs> I got a toaster as well, which I think is very important. We've also got a tea kettle. Oh, I kind of wish that could go on the stove. That's all right. We can go next to the stove, maybe. I've also got a blender. 
Look at all, we, like I said, we got everything. Oh, I got a sleek blender though. Ooh, that's probably nicer. All right, I'm gonna use a sleek blender. It goes with my coffee machine. <laughs> I think I might need to change this wall behind the kitchen, but I'll do that in a second. So this can actually go near the stove, although this stove is wider than other ones, so it doesn't quite line up. I'm just gonna pop that there for a second. Ooh, industrial ceiling lights. Will this fit above this? Oh, not quite. It does line up with our oven though. We've got the hanging pots and pan. Ooh, this is nice. Oh no, I've run out of counters. I actually need to get more counters. I might need to go visit Scrooge. Oh, Mr. McDuck, I have an order to place. I need more counters. Oh wait, I've totally forgotten which ones I had because there's like all different varieties. All right, thanks buddy. I've just picked up some more counters so we can finish the kitchen. All right, I picked up another four island counters from good old Scroogey boy. So I'm gonna use these as my makeshift island counter. All right, so if that goes there, then my dining table really should probably be, you know, closer to the kitchen and this half of the room will be like the, the living room. So I'm gonna put it over there. I'm gonna move this door for the time being. Ooh, I also have some top cabinets, which I think would go very nicely above this stuff here. There we are. I think I got to do this same sort of starry wall on here. I love the gold trim and it goes with my, uh, my oven. I like how I've got like this sleek white modern kitchen and then it's like this magical wallpaper and everything. Ooh, I think these would be nice along the counter here. I need to get a couple more of these or at least one more, I think maybe a starry stool. But before I go and get more stools, I actually need to craft some of the new items. So all these ones are the little paintbrush. These are all the customizable ones. So I definitely want a fridge. You best believe we're having a custom fridge. And we're gonna need a custom living room set, obviously. <laughs> And a lamp, of course. <laughs> All right, let, let's start there, let's start there. <laughs> All right, where's the fridge gonna go? <laughs> All right, I don't think I'm gonna go as watermelony with the fridge. You know what could be cool? If we do like a gray, make it metal so it's like shiny. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I think if I'm gonna do that, I have to go like, <laughs> like full chrome. Okay, that's maybe too much, a little less, a little less. Maybe it should just be shiny plastic. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm turning off metal. I, I don't want metal anymore. I'm gonna go shiny white plastic. I know that's boring, but why don't we do like stickers on the fridge? Like it's just things we've collected. So we get like this here, cause we got 50 layers and like treats and candy. I'm just basically choosing all the colored ones. Oh, Stitch. Little solar system one. This is, <laughs> this actually looks great. <laughs> Ooh, I like Monsters Inc. <gasps> It even shows like the right color for me. Maybe we should do something on the side actually. Can I do something on the side? Oh yeah, I can, awesome. Can I go around? Oh, I can go, oh my gosh, okay. No, I'm not gonna bother doing the back cause we're not gonna see that, but I wanna do at least something on this side maybe. <laughs> yeah, this is great, okay. So we got our beautiful stick it up fridge. I think it does need to be a different color. There's so much white in my kitchen. I gotta change it. Let's, let's do a different base color. Oh wait, there's patterns. I totally forgot I could click on here. <gasps> a wicker fridge. I don't know why I forgot about this. I could do a polka dot fridge. Oh, brick fridge. <laughs> okay, I don't know if any of these make sense for a fridge, so let's not do that. Let's just do a color. Kind of like an orange, maybe? What do we reckon? Got like a gold, actually, what if I make it more glossy and like metal, it could be more like gold color. Actually, yeah, that could work. <laughs> a golden fridge. You know what? Let's do it. And it actually, to be fair, does match my stove. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the couch and uh, armchair. I think I'll just do basic colors on these. Ooh, actually that's kind of a good texture. It looks like a uh, sort of faux fur kind of thing. Oh, that's like a leather. Let's do that one. I actually think that's kind of nailed it. Like that's kind of perfect. <laughs> All right, so this is our living room. Living room. <laughs> this My dining table is so out of place in this room. I, th I think I'm gonna have to change it guys. Ooh, I like that wood texture. There's actually some really nice textures in here. What about we go, ooh, this has got two colors I can change. Actually, that's really cool. Darker on that and then this one. Oh, that's actually really cool. All right, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't keep the table with everything else. And I'm going to edit the chair. I'm gonna keep, we're gonna keep the watermelon seat, okay? Cause that's iconic. But I'm gonna change the legs to wood so it sort of matches the, table, how about that? So if I edit this and I say, get out of that, oh, it actually updates all the ones you've already placed. That's great. Okay, I'm fine with that, that's better. It sort of fits in a little bit nicer with the room now. <laughs> Basic lamp, we gotta do this. Okay, what do we? What have we got here? I like the polka dots, but then the legs. Wait, why don't we do like, yeah, like that, but then go like the gold, kind of like our fridge and the, that's a weight. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Oh yeah, the Monsters Inc. fireplace. That is amazing. I love this. Let's get that on the wall. Okay, we gotta get some nice pictures on the wall as well. Ooh, radiator. Wait, we have a fireplace. Okay, never mind. 
<laughs> Grandfather clock, yeah. Ooh, look at this bookshelf. That, I feel like, can go right there. Uh, it is also underneath the, <laughs> the rug. Uh, I'm gonna change the door here, maybe to that one, painted double. That's probably more fitting than the green one. I need to get more doors, but I think that'll do for now. Ceiling Mickey lights over the table. Okay, I need like, here we go, like a, like a nightstand or an end table, because I just need something like next to the couch so I can put stuff on it. I'm gonna get one of those there. Ooh, clothing basket. I know it's a clothing basket, but it kind of it kind of looks like a blanket basket. So maybe that might be nice, like in the living room. All right, we gotta get, where's my Mickey phone? There it is, sweet. All right, there's a couple more things I wanna put on the wall, just so our walls aren't as blank. I've got this little painting, let's see. Can I go, probably not in the kitchen, maybe over here. Get one back over there. What about a woven tap wall? Okay, that's cool. All right, do I have any nice plants? Yeah, get one of those down here. A little one of these on the kitchen counter, maybe. Oh, I can get this on the dining table. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the space. This is a living area. <laughs> it's really cool. I can't fit through there though. I think I'm gonna have to move that basket because that'll annoy me, but I can get through this way. All right, let me move that basket. You can just put it like here near the fireplace. Ooh, can I get through here though? Because if I'm running to that door, if I block that, that'll be annoying. Look, ideally I probably should have more dining chairs, but if I put them there, I'm gonna block my way. All right, that is the new living and dining and kitchen space. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. <laughs> I love the golden fridge. So uh, that's good. This is so much better. I'm so glad. Oh, I need to get an, I need to get one more stool for here. Hang on. All right, second stool. There you go. <laughs> that's better. I think I'll have to leave my bedroom for another time, but this living space is, oh, I'm so much happier having this now. And cannot forget everything that we did out here, which I think just, oh, I'm so happy. Everything has really come together and I'm very happy about it. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much to my top level members for supporting the channel. And of course, thanks again to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring this video. This is actually like one of my favorite games at the moment. So I'm super stoked we got to do this. If you do want to see more Dreamlight Valley, let me know in the comments down below because honestly, more than happy. <laughs> more than happy to do more of this. It's so much fun. And I got the whole rest of the valley to decorate and the rest of my house too, so. Plenty still to be done. Make sure to check out the link in the description down below if you haven't already, that'll really help me out. But I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching and have an awesome day.